something came out earlier, um, it might have been last week, where a couple of defensive coordinators said they had figured out uh, Lamar Jackson. It came out nationally, um, and, and Lamar Jackson responded to it. I don't think you figure out a guy with that athletic skill set. I mean, there are times where he probably is deciding and reading on the fly. Yeah, right on. And there are those definite situations where he's reading on the fly. He's able to extend plays and do things of that nature. But Mitchell Schwartz, the Chiefs right tackle who had some time in Cleveland as well, uh, he's, he's a free agent. He's nursing a back injury. So he's taken to Twitter and might be following his brother, uh, bro- or following his brother uh, Jeff, into the media world in a pretty short time here. And he was tweeting about saying that a good way of looking at how GMs view quarterbacks is what they do in basically true passing situations, third and long, and he used third and eight as a determining factor. And Lamar Jackson has been ab- among the best quarterbacks on third and long over the last two seasons, something people don't realize. He was even better last year than he was in 2019 on third and long. He completed 30 of 43 passes for 409 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He had the highest EPA on third and eight or longer in the NFL estimated points added. Um, He has not had a wealth of receiving talent that can line up on the boundary and create mismatches out there and and win one-on-ones. He's got Marquise Brown and Mark Andrews, but guys like Willie Sneed and uh, James Prochet and some younger receivers, Seth Roberts is actually third since 2019 combined in catches as a boundary receiver for the Ravens. And he wasn't even in Baltimore in 2020. So considering how good Jackson's been in true passing situations, when you take away play action, you take away the threat of the run, he has been outstanding. It doesn't even take account what he does against the run as well. Um, So the the passing statistics are all strictly passing. I believe he scrambled 10 times, gained three first downs. And people will look at someone like Patrick Mahomes and say, oh, wow, well, he's so great in true passing situations. Well, guess what? Patrick Mahomes scrambled 10 times for four first downs last year. So he runs the ball as well as the threat of his legs. And I think that looking at what Lamar Jackson does in dire situations, looking at what he does with the game on the line, looking at what he does when things aren't going his way, his ability to respond. You want to go back to that brutal Bills playoff game last year. Does he throw an awful pick six? Yes. Uh, You know, bad decision there after a play that should have been a touchdown the play prior. But he also faced a third and 19 from his own five yard line, throws a 22 yard dig route to Marquise Brown in a 35 mile an hour wins, gets him the ball, moves the chains, drives the Ravens down the field for a score. So uh, there's, there's always context missing and you can use statistics in certain ways. You can always skew statistics to fit a narrative and do things of that nature. But at the end of the day, it's not fun to game plan against Lamar Jackson. He is a much better passer than anyone has been. Well, many people have been willing to give him credit for. He leads, leads the NFL in touchdown passes in 2019 yet gets dubbed a running back still after years of being successful. So uh, if you think Lamar Jackson is, is there's going to be some magic recipe, it's having a really effective defense that can crowd the middle of the field, but there's only a handful of them in the NFL. So sometimes good quarterbacks struggle against good defenses. Yeah, and you know what? Lamar Jackson's a guy that makes c- coaches look really good. He, he does things you just can't teach. 